In this video, we are going to study simple linear regression in Python using Jupyter Notebooks. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Ok, so let's go into the web browser where we can find our Jupyter Notebook. So the first step within the video is we need to import packages. For this, we are going to add a new cell by clicking this button here. So we insert the new cell and as mentioned, step one, which we're going to comment is packages. So first we're going to import statsmodels.apism. We're going to use that feature from statsmodels for data downloading. Then we're going to import statsmodels.formula.apismf. We'll be using that feature from statsmodels for the linear regression calculation. And then we're going to import seaborn as SNS, and we'll be using Seaborn for the corresponding chart. To run these code lines, we can either go here and click Run, or we can press Shift Enter on the keyboard. So then we continue with step number two, which is data. For this, first we're going to create house prices underscore object, which is equal to SM feature from stats models dot datasets dot get underscore r data set and we open parenthesis the first parameter which is data name equals to and within quotations house prices comma then we have package equals to and within quotations aer and then we have cash equals to true so what we're doing here is we're downloading house prices object from our package AER and cache equals to true so that it saves it locally. Saves it locally so that we don't need to download it each time that we run the code. So this will download that corresponding data and its documentation into the house prices object. So what we do next is we're going to create an object named house prices which is going to be equal to house prices underscore object and we get its a data attribute. So this is going to have only the data within it. And if we want to visualize part of this data frame, we use print function, we open parenthesis and from house prices with iloc or integer location, we open brackets and we select. First of all, with semicolons, all the rows, comma, from columns 0 to 2 with Python notation is the first two columns dot with the head method so that we print only the head of that data. So we press shift enter on the keyboard and we see the data as we can see here below part of the data frame. So we have the first four rows of data and the first two columns which we're going to focus on this video which is price and lot size. If you want to read the full documentation of this data, you can do so with print function and within it again, house prices underscore object. And in this case, we're going to get its dot to underscores doc to underscores attribute. So it's documentation. And we press shift enter on the keyboard. And there we have the documentation of this data if you want to read it. Then we continue with the following step, which is step number three, chart. For this, we'll be using Seaborn, therefore S and S, and we'll use its REG or regression plot function. We open parentheses, and the first parameter is X. X is the horizontal axis on the scatter chart that includes the independent or explanatory variable equal to, and within quotations, lot size, comma. Y, Y is the vertical axis with the dependent or explained variable equals to and also within quotations price. Therefore, we'll have a scatter chart of price being explained by lot size. Then we continue with data, which is equal to that house price says object that we created above, comma, CI equals to none. So 
we want the regression line in this scatter chart not to include a confidence interval. And last, because Seaborn's scatter chart has both the points and the regression line colored in blue, we want to modify the color of that regression line. And we do so with line underscore kws equals two. And within curvy brackets, we have first, within quotations, color, outside of them, semicolon, quotations, red. And then we press shift enter on the keyboard to visualize the scatter chart. There we are. So as we can see, we have on the vertical axis price, which is being explained by the horizontal axis lot size. Color in blue, the scatter chart points, and on top of them as an overlay, we have the simple linear regression line. So then we continue with step number four, which we are going to comment. Step number four, which is the model. In this case, we're just going to press shift enter on the keyboard. The reason for this is that before doing the coding of the model, we want to write the equation. For this, in this cell, instead of being code, we are going to change it into markdown. And we are going to write with latex type of syntax the corresponding regression equation. So we start with two dollar signs and then we continue. Hat, we open curvy brackets, price, close them, e equals two, hat, again, open curvy brackets, and within them, beta, we close curvy brackets, underscore zero, plus, and again, hat, open curvy brackets, again, beta, we close them, underscore one, and in this case, multiplied by lot size. And then we again add the two dollar signs and we press shift enter on the keyboard. So there we have the corresponding equation. As we can see, we have the hats here and those were added because they are estimates. Therefore, we can read this equation as the estimated price, which is equal to the estimated beta zero coefficient, which is the estimated constant or intercept, plus the estimated beta one coefficient, which is the estimated slope coefficient, multiplied by lot size. So then we continue with the coding of the model. For this, we're going to create the variable name SLR, which stands for simple linear regression equals two. And then we'll be using SMF feature from stats models dot OLS, that's ordinary least squares. And within it, we have the following parameters. The first of this, which is formula equals two. And within quotations, because this is a string, we have price, and then with this special character means being explained by lot size, comma, data equals to house prices object we created above. And then we fit this regression. And the following step is we want to print the estimates of the coefficients, and we do so with print function, open parenthesis, and from that SLR object we just created, we get its parents parameter. So again, what we do now is we press shift enter on the keyboard and this calculates the regression and prints the estimates for those parameters. So first of all, we have the corresponding coefficients. The first of the coefficients is the one, the estimate of beta zero or the estimated constant or intercept and below we have the estimate for the beta one coefficient, which is the estimated slope coefficient. Therefore, the first one, the estimated beta zero or estimated constant or intercept is the estimated price when lot size is equal to zero. And below we have the estimated beta one coefficient or estimated slope coefficient, which is the estimated change in price when lot size changes in one unit. So now that we finished with the code, we go ahead and save it. And with this, we finish this video. Thank you for watching.